are you guys? So, want to do a little bit of streaming today, trying to get to ranked. We are eight games away from ranked. Want to see what the first ranking will be coming out of uh, unranked on this account. Uh, played a good bit with a few of our students. Played with Chris a little bit. So I'm gonna try to do a little solo queue in here. See if we can get a, a decent rank out of um, competitive. So we'll see. Did a little bit of change in the camera settings and some alterations to some of the stiffness and dead zone and all those things. Trying to get used to that again, but I'll try to see if we can get a good, solid rank. <laughs> we'll see what happens. already lost one opponent so score here probably we'll get a forfeit but we'll see how this all pans out Ooh, a little pass over one goal down let's see Alright, want to know this this morning. Looks like I'm in silver right now with the way that it's looking, but we'll see how it goes as we continue through the stream. As we get closer down the line of uh, the unranked matches. Uh, Rocket League, if you don't know this, they do 10 unranked matches before you can be ranked to kind of see where you'll be. Uh, you have to be level 20 to do so, so it's been a minute uh, before playing ranked that we're able to do so. But then also in like Siege and all the other games, you also have to play multiple games. I think in Siege you have to be level 50 before you can play ranked. And then Rocket League it's 20, so there's a lot of playing. I think it takes about two hours before you can actually be ranked in Rocket League. So we'll see if I can finish these games up here. Uh, like I said, I'm 1-0 this morning. Looking at a... Uh, trying to, I'd like to get plat at least start off, but we'll see how the game handles this. Be a new account, first time playing, and we've got a couple of people play on this account, so we'll see. <laughs> Try to cut it there. I was there looking for it. Uh oh. Be a goal here. Let me try to flick it. Oh, we got it. Nice shot. I like his name, the family man. I like that. That's a good one. That was a good shot by that guy. Hit left, so my teammate's gonna be there. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> nice play, teammate. Goal here. That's one. The uh, teammate that I have has a little title called Solid Swimmer on my actual account that I play. My personal account, uh, not this account. I actually have that as mine as well because uh, I'm actually a risen fisherman, so it's kind of cool how that Solid Swimmer kind of goes hand in hand with that. Pretty cool. Oh, could be goal. Yes, it is. Good job, teammate. That was a crossbar shot. game in a row. That's not really common for people to quit on rank. But that seems like the trend thus far. Teammate gets 
this. We got that. We got that. Yeah. That was a good setup for a nice shot there. Boy, this guy is going to quit. He might. No. He wants to keep playing. Maybe he thinks this guy's coming back. I don't know. Shot on goal there. Oh no. <laughs> that was an easy goal. I missed it. <laughs> I was thinking about it too much. That's the problem with Rocket League. If you think too much, you will definitely miss the ball. Because you think you're going to hit it and then you don't. And you're like, I don't want to miss this. And the mental game is definitely part of it. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Nice. Nice pass. Alright, passing our teammate here. Oh, actually, I'm just going to take the shot. here. Nice. Follow it. Whoa! Try that again. Oh. Do it, do it. oh, what a shot. On goal. <laughs> wow. What a shot. Couldn't do that again if I tried. Wow. That was crisp. All this. talking to Chris the other day, a sin crawl for those who don't know, uh, and he, we were talking about the difference in games, and I was telling him how this game is probably the, the skill curve, the skill gap is huge in this game, just because it's so, there's no abilities in it, it's all custom customizations for vehicles and all those things, and so it is straight just how good are you at the game, can you play well? Can you pass? Can you shoot? Can you aerial? Can you dribble? Can you do all these things? And uh, it's definitely something that like, it's almost like a, almost like a real sport in the way that you look at it. I know they do call it esports, and it's actually just something that like anything that happens to your car is just all controlled by how you play. And there's no abilities that make you better. It's just strictly all skill. And uh, I think this is why a game like this is something that I enjoy. But also, Chris has actually gotten into it a lot. As of late, mentioned that he is currently enjoying it. Uh, he said Fortnite might be a little too complex for him, he said, the other night. Uh, but I think Rocket League is definitely a good game to play, uh, to have the competitive edge and just enjoy playing with many people. It's definitely one of the harder games to wrap your head around. Uh, hitting the ball is something that's quite difficult especially starting out it's not something that's just like oh I'm just gonna go hit the ball there's the whole angles thing uh, the ball is moving physics of the game all those things you have to kind of adjust to and uh, Chris has done a great job of getting uh, to where he's hitting the ball pretty regularly and uh, looking forward to kind of see how he how he trends with the, uh, the learning curve of it he's doing great I'm surprised that this guy is staying in. Most people just kind of quit after their teammate leaves because it's kind of of a deficit to the team. 
But it seems like he's one to stay with, which I applaud him for. Honor right, that. Respect him for that. GG. That was good. Sad that he lost his teammates so early, but he did well keeping up and that and trying his best. It's good stuff. So I don't know. We saw on our friends list yesterday. I'm sorry, on Wednesday. But we have a guy by the name of Alexander Ham. Uh, I don't know how he got on our friends list. <laughs> But if you're Alexander Ham out there, if you don't mind letting us know, send us a message of who you are. Because uh, I don't remember adding that account to our friends list. Ooh. Bump oh, surreal right now. Ooh. Teammates backwards, that's not good. That was a cool explosion. Haven't seen that one yet. Nice hit. Nice hit. Oh no! That was not as planned. Alright, tell me what you got, buddy. Yeah, over here. Cool. Take it. Pass it up front. That's a good hit. Nice. That's a good hit. Hit back to full cool here. so hard on that but thankfully we are alright alright 1-1 one, one. It's, it's ball game now a little scary at first but at least they were getting a little bit of traction here Teammates back, so that's gonna be good for this hit. Uh, so he does here. Oh, is that going for it? Nice pass. Let's see. Oof. Good defense. Drop the wall. Uh, not work out in our favor. Ooh, crashed each other there. All right, go ahead, Alejandro. Go for it. One of the habits I've noticed in my time of playing Rocket League is how many times I press the scoreboard. So my goal is not to touch the scoreboard and, and until I see it at the end of the game. That's the goal. Now, that's going to be very hard because I'm so prone to touching it <laughs> to check score and if I got assist or uh, on goals and such. So, uh, it's, it's uh, <laughs> one of these I've noticed is like a tendency I have. Teammate's staying back. Thank God. Oh no.
Nice shot. See what Scott does here. Beautiful. Ah, uh, missed. That was on me. Not for a second. Well. We might be able to grab that. Shot on goal, maybe? Oh! It's close. I'll slow him down just a little bit. Oh. Alright, let's see. I did hit scoreboard, I did see that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was trying not to do it. I did. Unfortunately. Out of the way real quick. Might have a score here. Nope. Yeah, I defended a good job. Throw the hit. Oh. He's about to score for a moment there. All right, come back. Oof. I did hit the scoreboard. I did hit the scoreboard. <laughs> Next game, I'm gonna try not to, but I did unfortunately hit it. It's a good game though. It's close. All the way through. Five more games that we finish. Getting ranked. See where this account goes. I'm thinking plat is where it's probably going to land us to start off. I couldn't see it going over plat, especially with um, it being a new count. I don't think it would go further than that. Just kind of see how it all mixes with. So I'm thinking plat 1, div 4 is what I'm thinking is going to land us. Plat 1, div 4. Um, I don't know. That's all. I can, that's what I can see happening, but...
Man, I like when people have good names. And it's really chill. Not terrible and vulgar and all that. Alright, no scoreboard. And uh, let's see if we can get this win here. Here's how this guy's going to play. If you play Rocket League, also people have different styles in play. Not everybody's the same, so it's also that's a dynamic you have to have when you play randoms and solo queuing. Is that not everyone is a passer and not everybody's a soloist, and so you got to be careful how you handle it. You got to kind of cater to each other in the way that you're going to uh, play defensively and, and offensively. This guy seems very good, very qualified to play. Uh, Ooh, maybe. Ooh. Ooh, what a save. What a save. Ooh, that was scary. Nice. Nice hit, brother. This guy's playing really relaxed, which I like. He's not panicking. Go ahead, bud. Go ahead. Get up there. Mm. That was a good back hit right there. Just gonna try to run up the wall. Possible shot. Oh, good defense. Oh, I'm gonna try to pull this one. Ariel, it real quick. Oh nope, oh, no, he's coming up. Good flick. Very nice. All right, teammate, what you got, buddy? Ooh, nice little little volley. <laughs> Rule one. How far does it go? Oh no. I hit the scoreboard. Nope. I was trying to check ping because it seemed like there was a little bit of jitteriness on one of those hits, so. Alright, teammate, you got this, brother. There you go. We got that score. Let's go. Let's go. Great pass. Great pass. Beautiful. Ping's fine though. Ping's rolling. Go ahead and push, bud. Go ahead and push. Yeah. What a shot. Great shot. Good counter. Great counter, actually. He knew it was coming. He just popped it right over. Swished it. Wow. Those little pop up over the head shots are super hard to defend, especially if you're not uh if you're running boost, trying to slow down. It's uh, very difficult and they gotta do it perfectly. That's another shot on goal. Bam. Nice.
four. Ooh, what a block. Ooh, nice block. I'm gonna get back for the defense, because it's gonna come this way. Bar some time here. First loss of the day, most likely, unless we get some kind of... Try to keep it up here. I won't be able to. Interesting. I didn't let... I didn't forfeit. That was weird. Didn't even hit the ground yet. Never had that happen before. Usually the ball is at the ground and it's dead ball, but that didn't happen in that case. I don't know if because of a certain time in the air, if that's something that's new to Rocket League, but that was not normal. Usually I wait until the end of the game, and I didn't forfeit, so. Mm. But. All right. Getting a little, a little up in the ranks there. You see it went from silver as earlier to, to gold. Now we're seeing a little gold action, so. Right after gold is plat, and so I think that's where we're probably gonna land at the end of this. Uh, teammates AFK. Which I always thought was fascinating that we call it AFK, right? Because controller is a C, so we call it AFC, but uh, we AFK, I guess because it sounds better. I'm not sure. If you if you know the reason behind that, let me know. Because I don't know why. Alright, teammates back. Got a little movement to him. Very good. Oh, that was almost pretty. This guy seems a little bit more of a soloist, the teammate. Mostly he wants to do little things a little bit more on his own than uh, the other guy. chasing a little bit. Might be his tendency, so I gotta kinda play to that, play to the strength. Gotta give him some good setups, some good shots possibly. Nice. Yep, just let him kinda roll. Be more of his sister. Seems like he wants to have ball, so. Like I said earlier, the styles change when you play with people that are random, so you gotta kinda cater to what's best for the team. If you want to kind of go far and, and play in duos and stuff like that with randoms. So see what they're best at and then roll with it. So I thought it would be more of assisting than uh, shooting this game. Score might not be as high, but I think we might be able to get the win here. So he's going to push, try to block. He's going to shoot. Oh. Right, I'm going to try to stop this ball from going in. Woo! That was close. That's what I thought. I more for this. Alright, I hope my teammates will chase that because I'm way up here right now. Oh. Grab boost and get back. Ooh, what a pass. That was probably not what he was trying to do, but that was beautiful. to that ball now. That was going to be a good pass too to him. Alright, let's see. Teammate's going to grab that. Yep. 
Nice hit. See if he's gonna follow. Go back, cause he's up. Nice block. Ooh, I was trying to just pinch it against the wall and get it in there. That was a uh, good, good play, but it didn't work out. Got ball. Ooh. All right, teammate, go ahead. Go ahead, teammate. Go ahead. Let him take control of the ball. See like he wants it. Nice little clear, get downfield. Alright, Tim, let's go hit that pub. Nice pass. Ah, I gotta make that. <laughs> My fault. That was a great pass. If I had a quick check enabled, I would give him a great pass, but I don't have that enabled. Because of uh, it being a more of a stream account, I'm trying to not allow too much toxicity, if that's how you say it with uh, Rocket League because people can be a little toxic and uh, with us having students play on these accounts and be a part of parties and stuff like that we want to keep that as a minimum as much as possible so we don't have much of that going on ooh what a block you know what's going with it too that's beautiful Possibly a goal here. That was almost an opportunity there. So he's got a ball. Get back. back no. That's a heartbreaking loss right there. That was a good one though. Good game. I hit the scoreboard probably twelve times there. <laughs> Good game. Solid players. There we are. Yep, there's the plat. Figure that's what we're gonna be kinda going into a little bit. We'll see how high oh let me go with the unranked. Okay, go to the end there. It's rough. It's brutal. That happens. It's actually, twice it's happened already in this uh, in these couple matches. Could be an AFK and ranked, which is weird. Some people don't try to be too AFK, especially when it's ranked. Alright, 
these guys are. Push. Good push, good push. Sir. Now it's zero zero. <laughs> but yeah. The first goal was rough. But we'll take it. Let's see this guy goes. a vehicle. I've been hit by a vehicle a good five times in the last like ten seconds. Right there into the pump. I think one of the cool things now, the schools, public schools in particular, is they uh, started doing uh, esports leagues where they do Rocket League on uh, tournament styles and play against people in your district, which I think is cool. And uh, when I went to college, I was, uh, they did it the year after I, I quit, I uh, finished my degree. And uh, it was sad because I enjoyed Rocket League, and one, Rocket League was one of the ones that they were going to run as like tournaments. and. Uh, play for the college team and uh, that's something that I mean I would probably would have spent a good amount of time trying to get better at and wanting to play with them the cooler compete uh, school by school uh, but cool what's really neat is one of some of our students actually compete with these sports uh, for their high school and one of them's graduated but it's really neat to kind of see the whole video game thing become very competitive but more like where Schools are getting involved and seeing the the draw for people to be invested in something like that. And, um, really, I uh, heard a statistic of the day that I thought was really neat. I mentioned it on a different stream, but you know, uh, someone had mentioned to me they were they were doing a game ministry and they mentioned about how many people are on video games a day, and uh, 3.75 billion people play video games every day, or at least some point in their their week. And we got to think about that of, like, you know, that's almost half of the population of the world are spend their time on video games, playing, and what I notice is that, you know, video games are something that people like to bond over, I find. Uh, people enjoy being together, talking, hanging out, making memories online when you can't be there in person, which I think is a beautiful thing of technology and, and how it's evolved throughout the years um, obviously you have your cons of what technology can do and you know nothing ever replaces like being able to be in person with somebody because I mean, that that you know we were created to be in relationships with people and walk life with each other and we're actually talking about that this Sunday a little bit but you know it's really a beautiful thing that you know I, we can play with 
eight different students or, you know, on a server and just play and have a good time. You know, the other night I was able to hang out with you know, six of our students on different platforms and games and just kind of hang out and talk, get to know and get to know new friends that they've made and introduce each other. And it was just really cool to kind of talk through life. Um, one of the things that really stood out to me was I joined one of our ninth grade guys' parties just to kind of see how they were doing and um, catch up with them. And they uh, were talking about how they, they were, uh, joined the party and they were having a kind of a quiet conversation, kind of a deep conversation. And one of them had popped up and said, you know, there's a, there's a, a difference on like, just saying you believe in God and, and really knowing God and believing that he is Lord and that he is Savior and they were talking about their testimony and how one of them mentioned that he had given his life to Christ in seventh grade and one had said September 3rd last year he made a decision to follow Christ and he's seen a difference in his life and how these boys want to be the ones who not just say they know God or say they believe in God but rather they want to live it in such a way that honors the Lord and glorifies him in every way and it's just it's beautiful when you just hop in a party on Xbox Live just for a moment and then you hear you know ninth grade students stepping out and, and going hey you know this is what I believe and this is how I will live my life and I've seen God's presence in my life and I've seen what he's done and how good he is and how he's faithful and just and you know and that's not every 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 Xbox Live party I join you know and it's 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 really incredible so I'm looking forward to having some more of these students like the ones that I had mentioned just a second ago partaking in this ministry and seeing that you know hey you know we can reach people not only um, in person but also digitally and virtually through things like this like streaming and so I was very encouraged to hear and be a part of that conversation. So, looking forward to it. I think I got two more games left in the stream uh, before I uh, become ranked, and uh, we'll see. I think we're, we're getting close to. Now we're getting to a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit better competition. I could tell by the way that guy was flying just now. Uh, he's a champ tournament winner. So this is this is kind of a little bit more uh, competition here, and he's having a good time with that. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Nice shot. Nice shot. Man, I flew off that ball. Quick. <laughs> Bounced. Term winner. This is really good. I think I stole the goal from him, though. I think I stole it.
Yeah, since he's a champ and he got plat two, I can see that's what, probably what's going to end up happening here. This is our last match of the day. Gonna be ranked after this one. I'm thinking plat two, plat one. Um, as you can see, the champ guy got ranked that, so that's probably what we're gonna be at or close to it. Um, I'll be surprised if we get diamond, but we'll see. Normally they don't start us off with diamond, especially on a new account, but they make they go make you kind of work towards the, the top. But wow, AFK third AFK guy today. Wow, that normally doesn't happen, but. Here we are. Third AFK first goal. Still AFK, no. That's not good. There he goes. I'll take this ball here. Good hit. That was gonna be a bad goal to score on me, that would embarrassing. <laughs> I whiffed so hard on that one. I'm doing a lot of backflips right now. There we go. A little something. Alright, let's hit the score with this. He's got it. He's got it. Nice shot, nice shot. Ooh, whoa, this is a cool, cool explosion. That's wild. Great static and darkness. They realize the skull until the uh, replay. I'm glad he hit that. I was gonna sit again. <laughs> All right, I get a goal here. Oh, got. Tripped up, my own teammate. We still got the goal. Let's go. This is the last game. I'm just gonna leave y'all with this. Something I thought to kind of think about. Um, I was reading the. Uh, little devotional thing in my Bible that uh, I have in there and it was a guy talking about worship and he had mentioned about worship precedes service and how um, when we worship God and we praise his name and give him glory for things of who he is and things he's done in our lives that it it moves our heart to a position where we're grateful and thankful. We want to move to a heart of service. We want to serve him with our lives. And there's something that was very simple, but very powerful. And I've been thinking about that quite often as of late of that worship precedes service. And so something to just kind of think about, pray about, you know, in your life, you know, are, are we worshiping the Lord? Are we, are we serving him? And is our, is, 
our time, you know, being used up in, in, in that worship and, and service to the Lord. So I don't know. Something to think about. Simple, but it's something that's really been thinking and pondering and asking the Lord to show me in my life how I can be more worshipful in my heart towards Him and being grateful for the, the blessings of my life. Because you begin to think about all the things we've been blessed with, with family and friends and even I mean think about how Jesus laid his life down for us you mean think about man like God's been so good and, and you want to serve him well and you want to honor him with your life and I've noticed in my life when I, when I see it that way and I begin to thank the Lord for all he's done I just see my heart begin to change and my heart wanting to, to do what he's asked of me and uh, be obedient to him. But I was sharing that idea with a friend of mine uh, last night, and they're like, they were thinking about is worship like is a prerequisite to service? I was like, no, no, that's not kind of what he's getting at, but more so that worship. When you worship, you want to serve the Lord because of all He's, who He is, and all He's done in our life. So I said Plat 1, Division 4. Let's see what the grand reveal will give us here. Let's see what's going to give us. I say Plat 1, Div 4. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. Blueprint. What? Let's go! Diamond 1, Div 3. Let's go! Alrighty, y'all. Well, it's been a joy hanging out. Um, got ranked with this account. Diamond 1, Div 3 is a good starting place to try to get to champ, the road to champ, and maybe even further later on, but that's where we're at. So, alrighty, y'all. Y'all have a good day, and we'll, and I'll talk to you soon. Next time, we'll probably have Chris on the mic, play a little bit of Rocket League duos. So, see y'all later.